Well, good morning and welcome again to Zombie Apocalypse Diaries. Excuse me, started that a bit early. Um, we were talking, this is uh, Zombie Economics again. Uh, excuse me, we were talking earlier about, if you call tokens, um, what money is. Money is a token that we use in the exchange of goods and services between each other. And so there are there are two sides to this this whole equation here this um, aspect of money there are those who provide it and those who need it and I have come to realize in my sleep or, or while I was thinking before I fell asleep that is that um, we're on the side that works that uses the money and works and the side that doesn't use money doesn't work for the doesn't work to pay for the token they just use it at our expense so here's how this works conceptually again money is a token that we decided would be used in the exchange of goods and services between us now we are the people, we are the society, we are everything that matters. This is important for you to understand. Um, our, oh sorry, the economy, um, the government, everything exists for our benefit because we are the only things that really matter. Everything else is for our benefit or because we allow it. Um, corporations existing, businesses, things like that. So long ago, think back to long ago, when we were back in the days of the kingdoms and the fiefs and villages and all that, we were trading between us. And we decided that at some point we would use tokens. Originally we used gold or valuable things, shells in some places, things that were just valuable, uh, that had value but no actual use. Actually, there were things that didn't have, didn't have value as usefulness but were coveted as rare. So something like gold would be rare, but to people back then, it was only an adornment, so it was very useless. People didn't understand that it actually has a significant value these days. It's a very good conductor, so we shouldn't be adorning ourselves with it. But that's never here nor there. Um, so money is this token. Well, we decided that rather than using these, these, these precious gems or these precious metals, that we would use tokens and we would just assume that those tokens had values and thus was born central banking or banking actually so banking is a, what a, what banking is is provision of these tokens for our benefit so that we can have these exchanges of goods and services between us so fast forward a bit to today what do banks do banks in their perspective provide for the economy they provide for everything that we need to be done. That's their perspective. No, they're still just providing a token so that we can do exchange of goods and services between us. But as I, as I had discussed earlier um, and in review, these tokens have a price. And the price is significant because we, we pay a pol toll for these tokens. You know, they're, 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 it's not it's not quite tax. Actually, the income tax is used to pay for these tolls. So, it's part of what we pay for these tolls. So, 35% of what you earn is used to pay these tokens, give or take, roughly, conceptually speaking. So, you are a laborer, you work and your labor is the only way you can pay for these tokens. So there are three ways that these tokens can be acquired. They can be paid for with labor. They can be paid for with natural resources, sorry. Or they can be just printed and used. And here is the dirty deed. There are three classes of people in our society. There are those who work for the tokens that are used for the goods and services. There are those who extract resources 
and sell those resources for the tokens. Remember, these resources belong to all of us. And then there are those who just deal in money. They just acquire it magically. Allow me to explain. Banks charge for the use of their tokens. Well, they're not doing any work. They're providing tokens. That's all they do is they provide a mechanism by which we can exchange goods and services. They just provide money. That's it. But they get paid in money without doing any actual work. Okay, yes, a few bankers do a little bit of work. A few bankers do a little bit of work. I remember that. Okay, so they make money without doing any work. Who else makes money without doing any work? Investors, speculators, traders. Wait, am I not describing bankers? Oh, wait a minute. We don't want bankers making money other than making money. Well, but they are. So, how, how do these people make money without actually doing any work? Well, they don't contribute a damn thing to the economy, so they don't pay for their tokens. They pay for their tokens by buying and selling tokens. By buying and selling concepts. Things that don't exist. So how, do that, how does that make them money? Well, it's printed. It's borrowed. Okay, so you take your money to the, the, that you got from the bank, you take it to a bank, and you deposit it. Well, the bank then can legally create ten times more. This is called fractional reserve banking. So they can create ten times more money. And they give that money to investors who then take your money that you earn through labor out there and earn money with it without doing labor. Okay, so we, we have these tokens that are used in the exchange of goods and services. But to get these tokens, we want it to be fair. We want people to have to work for these tokens. We don't want to just give these tokens away. It demean, devalues our labor, doesn't it? If we have to work to earn these tokens and someone else doesn't, that devalues our labor. Why would we want to work for something when we can just go get it for free? Oops. Guess what we've discovered, folks? Proof that economics is a complete and utter and total fucking sham. <laughs> okay, so let's review this again. Money is in a token we have decided would be used in the exchange of goods and services. We want to universally be able to take a concept, a thing, a piece of paper, a note, and take that note to someone and say, yes, this note says that you have value, that I am giving you value for your good or services, and that this value is good to someone else. So someone else can take this and go, yes, I want to buy your good or service, and then someone else can buy this, and you take this and go, you good or service. So I have worked to earn this token. I have paid my toll to the banker, the what, 35% toll for the use of this token. <laughs> oh, but not everybody has to pay 35%, do they? If they're wealthy, if they have more of these tokens, they don't have to pay as much for them. Wow! <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's go with this. So, these tokens that we pay a 35% toll for are used in the exchange of goods and services between us. And we, you and I, are the only thing that matters. Okay, remember that. So these tokens we pay the bank 35% toll to use. Why then are we paying a toll to use these tokens when we could go out and just get the tokens for free? Why? Going to the casino. 
putting a token in a machine, pulling a handle, look, more tokens come out. That's called speculation. That's called Wall Street. Why would you gamble with these tokens that you can use in the exchange of goods and services to earn more? That's foolish, isn't it? It's not very good for the uh, whole market thing there, is it? You're, 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 you're moving around tokens from people that have earned them to people who have just gotten lucky or happened upon them. Well, doesn't that also demean the value of labor? Again, there's only natural resources and labor to pay for these tokens. You're devaluing, natu you, you're devaluing labor. We haven't even begun to address natural resources. No. Natural resources belong to us all. And there's some people out there, they get them and they sell them to earn tokens. Wait a minute, those are our natural resources. Who says they can sell them? Oh, they do the work. No, they're doing the work to extract our natural resources. So why aren't they paying us for them? Why aren't they paying bankers to give us more tokens because they're our natural resources? Why aren't they paying the banks to give us more tokens instead of us paying the banks to give the money to the speculators to extract the natural resources to then sell to us? Something's not making sense here, folks. Um... I'm kind of confused. How about you? Could you explain it to me? Could you tell me how the whole economic system works? Because I'm lost. It's not making any sense to me. I really don't know. Are there any 10-year-old kids out there can explain it? Because they'd probably do a lot better job than the uh, likes of an economist. Throwing big words at you to make you think you're not understanding what's being said. Isn't that kind of how zombies work? So, how do you like the zombie economy?